activate Fluffy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Fluffy Wonders. Activate Fluffy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Woo! <laughs> Don't worry, Debo. Those aren't real monsters. They're trick-or-treaters. Cause it's Halloween. <laughs> of course, Debo. I can teach you how to trick-or-treat. Did somebody say trick-or-treat? <gasps> Whoa! Oh, hi, Rita. This is my friend, Debo. Hi, Debo. I'm Rita the raccoon, and Halloween is my favorite holiday. Because of all the costumes? No, silly. All the free food. <laughs> well, you're just in time, because Debo and I are about to go trick-or-treating. Wait, Debo. We still need a few things before we go. The first thing we'll need are costumes. Great idea! We'll be ghosts! <laughs> so fun! Even ghosts need to be able to see. There we go! Ooh, ooh. Boo! <laughs> I'm a blippy ghost! Whoa! <laughs> We've got a karate master trick-or-treating with us. Opa! And now a chef! <laughs> so cool! Boo! Ah! Ah! I'll just stick with a mask! Our costumes are ready! Time for the next step! Containers to hold our treats! Cool jack-o'-lantern pails! Ooh, my first treat! Now it's time to hit the streets. It's getting dark. A glowing ghost. Fun. Okay. <laughs> Be sure to pick a house that is decorated and lit up for Halloween. Then knock on the door and say, Trick or treat! Thank you! Happy Halloween! What? Shoot! Remember, you can only go to each house one time and just take one piece of candy. Trick or treat! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Jackpot! That'll last you till next Halloween! Whoa! Those scare me every time! Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Look, look what, what I, I got. got! Whoa! Look at all these treats! Thanks for helping me teach Debo how to trick or treat, Rita! And remember, Debo, to trick or treat, you need a costume and a bag or pail for treats. Then, walk door to door, stop at the lit and decorated houses, say, trick or treat, to get goodies in return. And remember, you always need an adult. <laughs> yeah. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet night, Rita. <laughs> Bye, Blippi and Debo. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Driving at night is so much fun. And we have the streets all to ourselves. Whoa, what was that? It's pretty late for animals to be out. You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm, I wonder. Why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find that nighttime animal. Ah! Oh. Hi, my name is Rita the Raccoon. What's yours? Hey, it's 
It's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool! Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course! I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything! Oh, look at her go! Debo, follow that raccoon! You aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Blippi! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita! That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. <laughs> Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippi-mobile! This time, I'll drive! <laughs> That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. Ha! Jackpot! With less animals around, I don't have to share all of this great food. What an amazing adventure. And I got the answer to my question. Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food, there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye-bye, Rita! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Whoa! Whoa! That one's blue! <gasps> that one is red, Tabs! Oh, and that one is green! Hmm, I wonder, why are fireworks different colors? Great idea, Tabs. Let's go investigate. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and a grabber arm. Helicopter blades, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile Ready for adventure! Oh, no, 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 no! Never get too close to fireworks! Be safe! Give them some space! Okay! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Tax. We were just wondering how fireworks get their colors! Hi! I'm Penny! I'll spin you a tale all about it! First, you have to know that fireworks are little rockets filled with black powder, which burns fast and takes the fireworks as high as a thousand feet into the air. Whoa, that's pretty high. Good idea, Tabs. Let's get a better look at the fireworks in the sky. Will you join me in the Blippi Mobile, Penny? Sure. Great! Even in the air, remember to stay safe and give them space! So colorful! Hat 
packed into the top of the firework are metal salts called stars. Just like different foods have different flavors when you eat them, different metal salts burn different colors when you ignite them. Watch out! Here comes another one, Tabs! Tabs! Are you okay? I told you, stay safe and give them space. We should get down to the ground or we'll all miss the big ending. You're right. Let's go. <gasps> Here it comes. The grand finale. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. What an amazing show. And now I have the answer to my question. Why are fireworks different colors? Fireworks are different colors because of the different metal salts they burn. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Penny. Bye, Flippy. Always stay colorful. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Whoa, look at that, Tabs! It's an adorable kitty cat! <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers! Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs! Let's follow that kitty cat and find out! I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? What was that? Hey, it's me, Blippi. What's your name? Hit please the name, and treats are my game. Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> holding out on what? Shh. Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. <laughs> Yeehaw! Woo! Flawless. How do you land so perfectly? My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippi. It's so dark. How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Snackpod! <laughs> Would you look at that? I'm happier than a pig in mud. What a great adventure, Kipley. We found the treats. And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye-bye, Kipley. Thanks, Blippi. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all.
What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car. It's going so fast. You're right. The Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm, I wonder, why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? Good idea, Debo. We can go to the racetrack and find out. I'm gonna need race car tires. Race car tires confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi! Are you here to try out the race track? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! Whoa! I'm going really fast! Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can! Only 180 miles per hour now! Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars, plus my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain, do your thing. You can do it, Debo. Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do. My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track. Thanks, Debo. Now you're even faster. My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi. Whoa! I'm blown away! But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Oh, no! Debo, look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island! Hmm... I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. 
<laughs> You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> These colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? Are you okay, Debo? You have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait. Are we at the bottom now? No, you have reached my knees. Still a bit of a way to go. Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom. Woohoo! I knew you did. You made it, Flippy. <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh, Nemo! Oh, no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, look at all those elephants. Hmm, I wonder, what do elephants use their trunks for? You're right, Debo. We should go ask one and find out. I'm gonna need a water hose and duck feet. Water hose, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi station. <laughs> The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. <laughs> Yikes! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Yeah! Cannonball! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. Hey, we were wondering, what do elephants use their trunks for? Hi, Blippi and Diva. I'm Tempo. <laughs> Whoa! We elephants use our trunks to help cool down by sucking up water and spraying it on our body. Like this? <laughs> huh? Let's go down the slide again. Race you to the show! You're on! Whoa! How could you breathe underwater? That's another great thing about my trunk. I can breathe through it. Wow! Just like my nose. <coughs> <coughs> exactly. Hey, speaking of noses, I smell bananas. Elephants have an excellent sense of smell. Come on, hop on my back. Oh, boy! Another slide! I wish we could go down that one, but the path is blocked! Check this out! Another great thing about trunks is that I can move just about 
anything. Last one down is a banana peel. Whoa! This is the best day ever! Whoa! Ready or not, here I come! use their trunks to make sounds, like when we are excited. That's amazing! <laughs> Thank you, Tembo, for helping me find the answer to my question. What do elephants use their trunks for? Elephants use their trunks to smell, breathe, make sounds, suck up water, and even grab things. <laughs> Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Blippi. See you next time you're in the savannah. Bye-bye, Tembo. <laughs> We had such a blast! Whoa! Look at all the blinking fireflies! One, two, three! One, two, three! Oh, I love counting! Don't you, Debo? <laughs> hey, get back here, you silly! What you got there, Debo? Hmm, I wonder, why do fireflies light up? I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look at all those different flashing patterns. Maybe it's a counting game. One, two, three. One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. Hey, it's me, Blippi. I was wondering, why do fireflies light up? Hey, I'm Felicia. And if there's one thing you gotta know about us fireflies, it's that we are all about that blink. One, two, three. One, two, three. You again? <laughs> Just try and catch me this time. Debo! <laughs> I like your style, Debo. I've never seen moves like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. When fireflies blink, it's because they like another firefly style. And with style like that, I just can't stop. Everybody, stop! Oh, no! Not today, froggy boy. Felicia saves the day. <sighs> Works every time. Fireflies also light up when there is danger around. Oh, like a warning signal to predators to stay away? Yep. Nope, not my style. Not bad, but nah. Hey, Blippi, will you help me find a firefly with a blinking style like mine? You mean like a counting game? Yeah. Do you remember my flash pattern? One, two, three. One, two, three. We found your match! Now that's my style. <laughs> what a great adventure! And I got the answer to my question. Why do fireflies light up? Fireflies light up to warn predators to stay away and to help them find other fireflies with the same blinking style. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for your help, Blippi! Bye, Felicia! One, two, three! One, two, three! <laughs>